I'll, um, I'm just going to start a live stream now and we're going to have a few people sitting in uh, watching me do ATC and hopefully I'll have a few pilots doing ATC. Okay, sorry, I've done enough typing. Let me get
9500, pigeon 51, radio check. 249, General announcement, Krasadar Centre traffic control in effect. I'll be handling taxis, approaches and departures for Krasadar Centre only on 249.5. QFE 30.00. Winds 120 for uh, 10. Runway 27 in use. Call when ready to taxi and I'll have you guided. Happy hunting. I see you. Okay, let's try that again now that I've got the volume turned up. Can you hear me now, Peekaboo? Brilliant. Monitor 249.5. We're just waiting on people to talk to us. 249.5. Yes, please. Crash Norris Center Tower. Pigeon 51 request taxi. Pigeon 51, good day. I see you taxiing along Delta. You can continue that along to the left for Charlie and then hold short runway 27. to do is we need to get onto the hogget and uh, we can uh, quickly just uh, announce that we're available there. Five 
Discord. Yeah, the Hocket has their own Discord, so they have a they have a code for you to uh, like type in for the bot to allow people to see if there's a GCI available. Um, I just hijacked that for the ATC announcement as well. Uzi 3 1 for Krasnazar Center Tower. Crystal uh, Tower, Uzi 3 1, FAT non slot 29, QFE 3000, request taxi for departure. Uzi 3 1, uh, see you there at the ramp just to just uh, with Charlie there on your right. I have you as Felix 1 4, is that correct? Felix 414, good day. QFE 30.00. Turn right onto Charlie, and you'll be number two behind Pigeon 51. Pigeon 5 1, turn left onto runway 27, you'll be clear to depart. Climb to 2000 feet, fly the runway heading for 5 miles, then depart my frequency and join strike on 253. Good day. And uh, Felix 1 4, give way to Pigeon 5 1. Felix 1-4, line up and wait behind Pigeon 5-1 once he gets moving. Line up and wait, uh, Felix 1-4. So peekaboo, as you can hear, uh, I'm basically just telling people, basically get to that point on the runway. No problem, Pigeon 51. You're clear to take off runway 27. Fly the runway heading, so 270, for 5 miles. Climb and maintain 5,000 feet. Once you're at 5 miles, you can depart my frequency and join 253.0 for the uh, for, for the guard. Uh, Tower, Pigeon 51, clear for takeoff. Uh, departure straight out. 
uh, five miles old, altitude five thousand, uh, and I don't remember the frequency. That's okay. I'll hand you off at five miles. Don't worry. Generally, you can see the game plan. Feels one four. Line up and wait. Runway two seven. I'm waiting for a fidget five one to clear you. Yeah, I'll, I'll play flight control on the iPad. It's pretty much the same thing, right? <laughs> yeah, it's not that far different. Most of the procedures are the same. Basically, my general game plan is to have them fly forward for for, for, for five miles, and it'll be a five or ten mile approach uh, on landing. And I'm just basically aiming to get them in on a pattern about that um, when they're ready to land. In terms of taxing, I try to make it one way. So Delta is just going to be heading eastbound. Bravo will be north northeast bound. Charlie will be northbound. And if they need to go further around, then I can use Foxtrot or Echo to have them taxi back to the ramp, depending on how they go. I expect them to vacate via Alpha and then join the west or the east ramp in most cases anyway. Pigeon 5 one good day. Uh, go ahead and uh, resume your own navigation and you'll find a package on 253.0. And Felix 14, clear to take off runway 27. You'll climb and maintain 5,000 feet as well. Fly the runway heading for 5 miles and then check out to 253.0. It's 253.0 once you're five miles away from me. So take off 27, climb and maintain 5,000 feet, fly, fly runway heading for five miles, check out 253, feel this one for. Hey, Pilot Beagle! Yeah, I'm trying the other side of things. This is uh, DCS, the military combat simulator, but I'm doing air traffic control today. Sorry, I'm peekaboo, I missed that. So, I think a lot of people hear these, these chattering instructions, especially the new people, meaning the crew should and just go, what was all that? And they just clam up and don't want to talk at all. Not a problem. I'm going to keep telling them the way it's going to be, and if they don't understand, I'll repeat it as slowly as they need. There's only one way they're going to get better at this, and that's to hear it. Well, if they keep hearing it, they'll eventually expect it. It's fine. I certainly did that when I first heard these kind of instructions. I was like, what is all that? And if that means doing it one step at a time with them, I will. But I will give them the initial instruction as it is. If they look like they're struggling, I'll continue it. I Pilot Beagle, thank you for the subscription again. It's much appreciated. I don't want to come off as uh, patronising by giving them one set step by step instructions, Felix plus it's a lot of mess. Great work, Felix 14, happy hunting. See you on the other side. Check in 20 miles, please. Uh, so when you're inbound, check in no later than 20 miles. It's just the ones with no emotions. Oh, I'm a very terrible ATC then. I try to keep things funny. The, the guys in, AT in DCS, unfortunately, are not equipped with uh, a very nice default ATC. It's not very friendly, it's not very useful, and doesn't give very good vectors. So most of the time, the people who chat in DCS on multiplayer servers are not used to, to ATC instructions. Many of them have never been on VATS and things like that. So um, not everyone has the same level of experience. So. I'm uh, slowly working on fixing that though. The good news is this is a military simulator, so we don't have to worry about SIDs and STARS at least. Yeah, I'm not talking to me. So yeah, peekaboo, the other thing as well is I don't overfill my cup. I'm not going to take on makeup traffic and Krasnodar, I'm only focused on Krasnodar. 
So, so, so what he's going to do is he's basically making announcements in the blind, like it's an uncontrolled air airport, which it is. If I hear someone asking for permission to take off at Makeup, I'll step in and say, "Look, you don't need permission. It's uncontrolled." Just to, so that way he's not tying things up. Expected DCS, good afternoon. It'll be a right turn for Delta, a left turn for Charlie. Expect runway 27 for takeoff. QFE 30.0. Copy. So we say right turn for Delta. Um, is that not right turn for Alpha? Or is that. Cross the Delta Centre, good afternoon, Archer 1. Archer 1, good day. Archer 1, F18, uh, two, 2 miles east. Join 4 2 7 run and break. Archer 1 1, you'll be cleared for that. Uh, I'll give you vectors for a uh, 10 mile approach, so I'll be right, uh, left turn bearing 300. Zero, zero. Left 300, zero, zero, QFE 30.0 zero and request the circuit direction, Archer 1. Say that again for our, uh, from Archer 1 1. Request the circuit direction. It's going to be a left hand circuit. Actually, change of mind. I'm going to make that a right-hand circuit. I just want to keep everyone clear of Pushkovsky. Well, it would be in real life. They don't have um, signs for the runways, so we can see them on the airport diagrams on the knee board, and we can see them on lot ATC. So if you zoom in, if you select Krasnodar Center and hit Krasnodar Center Airport View and zoom in, you'll see... Yeah, I've got it, yeah, it's got round one, two, and all the letters on it. I mean, basically, if I was like, but he's turning on, he's putting out to Alpha, why is that hard to know, whatever? Yeah, well, I'm not sending anyone to Alpha because I want them taken off runway 27. The reason why I want them taken off on runway 27 is to keep them away from Pershkovsky, because I'm not controlling it. Oh, no, no, I guess I think we're across purposes slightly. Is it on my diagram, the main um, area, the, the sort of, I, I can't remember the name of it, uh, the, the apron um, the, the room between the two ramps um, is labelled A. And oh. It's, it's still called Delta. And we still ask, like, why is that called Delta? Uh, might be something wrong with the chart there then, because it's I, I've got the chart in front of me, and the chart on lot ATC has it as Delta that he's run. Now, now Spectre's, Spectre's going along Charlie. Uh, last station with us, that Spike 1-1. One, one. Spectre, uh, go ahead and join the runway 27. We'll be clear for immediate departure straight out. Fly the runway heading for 5 miles, climb to 5,000 feet, and then depart my frequency. Resume your own navigation to 253. And Archer, maintain 6,000 feet until you're in the break. Understood. Spectre DC, uh, Spectre, uh, make your run, make your make your ahead, make your altitude two thousand feet. Two thousand feet, copy. Launch one to the break. So yeah, if a pilot says they're unable, you just have to accommodate whatever they're saying because they're just saying I can't. It's not I'm not going to. Well, I, I don't really have a choice in the matter. I'm the one on the t I'm the one in the tower. He's the one with the plane. <laughs> and Inspector DCS, resume your own navigation. Join uh, 2:53 for the chat. Copy. 
So Archer 1's obviously doing a very short um, overhead break. I'll be clearing him to land. Must have a slight disconnect there because he suddenly started hovering in there. There we go, he's moving now. In our tower, good day. Felix 1 4, have uh, rejoined from local over uh, uh, Federal Sky, uh, 5,000 feet request. Felix 1 4, maintain 5,000 feet, continue your heading. I'm going to get you vectors for a right hand circuit to Krasno Sea. Be runway 27 for inbound. Archer 1-1, one, one, clear to land runway 27 wins, 120 for 10. Vacate via Alpha if able, when able. Clear to land 27, Archer 1. That's a seriously short run in. It did seem a bit short. I thought you might want to extend, but you didn't seem to. <laughs> Guess that that approach is for pilots braver than you and tower controllers dumber than me. <laughs> I was just conscious of the server resetting in five. Ah, uh, okay. Felix one four, I'll give you a, a heading to get that as good as possible for you. We'll uh, we'll break a few rules and get you on a, a on a left hand in entry. Uh, turn right, 085. I'm going to set you up with a 5 mile approach if you can get there in time. Uh, right turn 085 for 5 mile. Felix 14. So yeah, the server's going to reset in 5 mile, five minutes. We're, we're, uh, we're going to try and get people down as safely as possible because we're not going to see very many people try to take off at the moment. But... No ma but no matter what, I'm still going to have people land 2-7 because someone will surprise me knowing my luck. It's good though because when uh, the server restarts we'll have a whole bunch of people starting at Krasno. There's the disconnect. <laughs> Yeah, it probably didn't like getting disconnected. Is that what causes it? Yeah, it sometimes doesn't like that. I was on it earlier today and every few minutes it was just crashing to desktop. What's your software version? I'm on 2.0.1. I guess some people just get all the luck. And last night I was on it for quite a while and it was fine. Yeah. I mean it is literally an initial version for lot for version two, so if there's gonna be bugs they're gonna you're gonna find them soon. So I'm just waiting on the server to start up again. Uh, I'm connected. Yeah, I'm still connected now as well. There we go, there's Krasno. So I just select the charts. Throw that onto my other on the other monitor because three monitor lifestyle. And then select the device select the select the airport. I'm gonna I'm not gonna I'm telling the system I'm controlling approach two seven. I'll see this way I'll see the glide path, but it's almost always wrong. Yeah, I'll, I'll always set that to a three degree glide angle because that's what everyone seems to be able to comfortably do. And then last but not least, I will, uh, let's see, what do I need to do now? I should probably quickly check the weather, make sure that's not changed, it hasn't. Oh, 30.1, so it has changed slightly. Well, that's the Q and H.
and the wind's now heading from 160. So at that point, so at that point in time, it is a crosswind no matter what. But uh, I'm still going to make them go runway 27, even if that is a slight tailwind. Because to be perfectly honest with you, they've got the performance to get around the tailwind, and it still keeps them clear of Pashkovsky. If that makes sense. Oh, and my game just crashed. Stand by. Switch to the uh, hot airports on restart. Grass in our center, Archer 1 1, taxi and runaway 06 for departure to the east. Grass in our Because our center tower will be managed very shortly once lot ETC stops crashing on me. Archer 1 1, copies, I'll hold. It's okay. I do appreciate that though. Don't want, to, don't want you stealing all my fun. No worries. <laughs> You'll notice I'm setting my location to Krasnodar Center, that means I should have a somewhat realistic experience with the radio. Alright, Krasnodar Center Tower is now open. Sorry for the delay, guys. No worries at all. Archer 1 1, single ship F 16 on the ramp, ready to taxi the runway. Last station, uh, sorry, say your call sign again. I was a little bit distracted with some real life stuff. No worries, Archer 1 1. I got you, Archer 1 1. Right turn onto Delta for runway 27 in use, QNH 3010. Wind's going to be 160 at 10. Copy, runway 27, right turn on this taxiway in front of me. Right. So yeah, we're just waiting for people to start checking in, given how many people are on the ramp now, I imagine that'll happen fairly quickly. And Archer 1-1, one, one, it's going to be a left turn onto Charlie, and then you'll, re you'll join one 27 at that point. Does one four right turn Delta? You'll be following the uh, F sixteen in front of you to Charlie. Runway two seven to use new QNH three zero one point three correction three zero point one. Winds now one sixty at ten. So we have fun when we have someone who's taxiing without my talk. That's 
cool, I'll yell at him in a minute. Chuck 1-1 one, one in the F-15 at Krasno or Yona SRS. Krasnodar, Archer 1-1, one, one, holding short, runway 27. Krasnodar uh, for Archer 1-1, one, one, clear takeoff, runway 27, winds 160 at uh, 10, and uh, climb and maintain runway heading for 5,000 5, feet uh, for 5 miles. After that, resume your own navigation to 2.53. And Chuck 1-1, one, one, uh, you'll be following number 2 behind him, seems how you managed to skip the queue there. Chuck one one line up and wait behind the F sixteen. So he's talking on chat because right, he says he doesn't have a microphone, so that's fine. As long as he's listening, that's I can I can live with that. Crasador Center, Mad Dog, F sixteen, request taxi runway two seven. For JTF-13, yeah, why not? Right turn Delta, you'll be following behind the F-16 that's about to turn left onto Charlie. Uh, Felix-14, once you've done looping around, you, I guess you you can turn left on about Bravo if you prefer. Yeah, you're turning left down Bravo instead of left for Charlie, but that's fine. Carry on. Well, I think my um, charts were a bit confused here. I'm going with the charts that Lot ATC has given me, and uh, has that entire straight that you're on as Bravo, and Charlie's to your right there. Uh, that's weird. For me, I think this is Delta. You were on Delta. <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> Probably looking at Pushkovsky, that's why. No, it's definitely sent. Okay. Well, uh, either way, Felix 14 is uh, held short on what I believe to be Delta. <laughs> no problem. No problem. Uh, turn left onto runway 27, you'll be cleared for the departure as well. Uh, claim and maintain 5,000 feet, fly the runway heading for 5 miles, then depart my frequency to 253. See, when I look at the airport chart, I see Bravo there, but... I use in the chart. Yeah, Alpha, uh, confirm you wanted me to go Delta, or did you want me to go all the way to Echo? Uh, Mad Dog, uh, <laughs> the letters for, my, for Krasno seem to be a bit fucked up, so follow that current taxiway all the way around, and then when you get to the junction there, where you have to make a choice, take a left on North Charlie. Looking to make you dig, make a 90 degree left turn onto uh, on, 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 just in front of the runway, and then that'll put you in for the full length takeoff for runway 27. Roger, left turn, Charlie. And Fios 1 4, yeah, you're clear to take off. Sorry for the delay. Uh, clear to take off, climb and maintain 5,000 feet for the runway heading for 5 miles, switch 253, Fios 1 4. Tower, Pigeon 5-1, uh, single shape, F-16, request, uh, taxi to runway 2-7. Pigeon 5-1, turn right onto Delta, follow uh, follow the F-16 that's going down the taxiway now, and uh, you'll be expecting runway 2-7. Roger, taxiing, yeah. Uh, taxiway Delta.
Mad Dog, that's by miscommunication. That's not the one I meant, but that's fine. You can turn left. You can take that for uh, Romy 27, right? I should have told him second left there. Oh, last station, what's your call sign? Felix one four switching over to two five three. Happy hunting, Felix. Where'd my properties filter go? Last station, I don't have you by call sign. What's your username? That's why. Yeah, a lot of ATC is fun like that. You know, you're going to give way to the F-16 on your left and you're going to follow him to runway 27. Mad Dog, thanks for the wait there. Runway 27, clear to take off. Run, uh, fly runway heading for 5 miles. Climb and maintain 5,000 feet. Then resume your own navigation and join 253. Roger, runway heading 5 miles. Climb 5,000 feet. Vision 5, I want to continue the full length of the taxiway, turn left onto Charlie. And if Pigeon's nodding his head and agreeing, I can't hear him. The last left turn, yes. So not the, not where you are now. Continue forward. Roger. Yeah, a lot of ATC has that left turn there on your there as a an unused as a disused uh, taxiway it's X'd out. So. Hawkins, you on there, sir? Probably not. Pigeon 5 1, hold, hold on runway 27. I've got someone taking off runway 9 and it's not talking to me. Carson Dow Center, Stud 1 1, requesting permission to taxi. Stud 1 1, what's your, what's your call sign? I can't find you by uh, that right now. Stab on one, I see you there. You're going to turn left onto Charlie and follow the F-16s. Turn left to Charlie and follow F-16. Pigeon 5-1, line up and wait, runway 27. That's a little tr trick there for you. You don't uh, need to give just everyone instructions, just have them follow the next guy. Because then, because then all you're really doing is fault is uh, leading one uh, one aircraft around, and everyone else is just following that guy. Vision five. Vision five one clear. Vision five one clear to take off. Climb and maintain five thousand feet. Fly the runway heading for five miles, and then depart my frequency and resume your own navigation to two fifty three. You know, line up and wait, runway 27, caution, wake turbulence. Crescent Tower, request to rejoin from local 
thousand feet. Felix one. Felix one one. Uh, what's Felix one four? I see you there, westbound, fifteen miles in. It's going to be a right hand. It's going to be a right hand or, uh, orbit. So come right. Uh, correction, a left hand orbit. So come uh, come right one zero five for the five mile approach. Cruiser 1-1, one, one, if you're on SRS, thanks for waiting. Continue to taxi, you'll be behind the MiG-21. Cruiser 1-1, one, one, copy. Cruiser 1-1, pitch 5-1, what's supposed to wait or um, clear to take off? Pitch 5-1, you're clear to take off. Uh, Fleet 1-4 will be out your flight path. Recommend you come, uh, you, you you turn north for your when you resume your, your own navigation though. One thing I'll have to watch is the MiG-21's instruments are all metric, so instead of 5,000 meter uh, feet, I'll usually give them something like uh, 2,000 uh, 2, meters, because that's roughly that's very rough, that's slightly higher than three than 5,000 feet, but it's very roughly to the same. It's within a margin of safety that I'm happy with. Feels 1-4, maintain 5,000 feet, turn left, 0 9 zero. I'm going to have you move that way for 5 miles and then you'll be set up for a nice approach. You know, feet, go ahead. Uh, Cruiser 1-4, Felix 1-4, Cruiser 1-4, Cruiser 1-4, Cruiser 1-4, Cruiser 1-4, Cruiser 1-4, Join the runway, runway 27, clear to take off, claim maintain 5,000 feet, follow the runway heading for 5 miles, resume your own navigation to the north. Happy Hunting. Yeah, you know you're clear to take off, yeah. Felix one uh, Felix one four turn left heading uh, three six zero and get you set up for the uh, approach for runway two seven. Stab on one, line up and wait, runway 27. Yeah, it looks like a kill code has gone the scenic route. Yeah, that's his problem. Stab on one, line up and wait, 27. Stab on one, uh, your instructions are going to be slightly different, seeing as how you're all metric and shit. So uh, your QFE is 1016, and you're going to climb and maintain 2000 meters. Follow the runway heading for five kilometers. I'll end up runway two seven. Clear to take off as briefed, stop one one. Bruiser one one. Oh. Hold, hold, hold your position. I'm going to have uh, Felix one four in. Bruiser one one, thank you. And Felix one four, if you can, I'm sure you heard that. Go ahead and turn in runway two seven winds one six zero at ten knots. Uh, turn in to two seven zero, Felix one four. Yep, you're clear to land runway two seven. Kill Gortrow, if you can hear me on SRS, hold short at the end of hotel, and Bruiser 1-1 will be in front of you. And June 1-1 on Krasnodar Center, are you, uh, are you on this frequency too? 
during one one continue as you are you'll turn left at charlie you'll be in behind the f16 and bruiser one one And Felix 1-4, clear to land runway 2-7, but if you want to go around, I can give it to you. Clear to land 2-7, Felix 1-4. Yeah, he's way off base. Make up traffic, Archer fly 2 ship 8-10, taxi runway 2-2 via Victor Lima. Make up. So I'm going to give Felix 1-4 plenty of time to do this. I could probably have slotted in another bird, but I don't want to be unsafe about it. Clear to land, Felix 1-4. Clear to land, Felix 1-4. Make up traffic, Archer Flight, correction, Victor Lima to 2-2. Two two. Make up. Victor Echo, I'm sorry, Victor Echo. <laughs> You'll get there one way or the other, I'm sure. Bruiser 1 1, here's the game plan. You'll be next to take off, runway 27. Uh, watch for Felix 1 4 vacating. Uh, that's when you can line up and wait. Bruiser 1 1, line up and wait, runway 27. It's been a slight accident. Oh, God. Bruiser 1 1, when the, small, when the wreckage stops smouldering, you're clear to take off. Casually, you like. June 1 1, hold short, you'll be giving way to the MiG 21 on your right. Bruiser 1-1, one, one, once airborne, climb and maintain 5,000 feet, fly the runway heading for 5 miles, and then you can resume your own navigation and join 253.0. Okay, we'll try out your next line up and wait, runway 27. Yeah, I always have to be mindful, make 21s don't have a lot of fuel, so I'll try and get them airborne when able. June 1 1, line up and wait, runway 27. Kelgore, once airborne, climb and maintain 2,000 meters. Fly the runway heading for 5 kilometers, resume your own navigation.
June 1 1, clear to take off runway 27, same as before. Fly the runway heading for 5 miles, come up to 5,000 feet, resume on navigation at that point. Well, that was a little busy spell, wasn't it? So I've got a few people just not calling, not moving on the time. I can have a quick look around and see if I've got anything looking like it's heading inbound. Nah, we're good. Go for it, man. Got a lot of red uh, lines on the screen. Let's have a look. Yes, there it is. Oh, crap. <laughs> have fun with that. What are you going to do? Uh, now it's GCI on Hoggett, which I think is what you did. Yep, so the command on Hoggett is exclamation mark GCI space sunrise space your theater, so G A W, that's uppercase that bit. Then the frequency number, so 134.0, and then whatever comments you're writing. Uh, for example, your call sign, like Magic or Overlord or something like that, would be a good idea. Because it's still not quite summer yet. Happy hunting, buddy. Uh, see you on the other side. I'll start handing people over. What's your call sign going to be? Uh, just magic. Cool. I'll start handing people over to magic once they check out. Cheers. Thanks for the company. Yeah, no problem at all. Looked forward to giving, seeing you give this a go sometime. Engine ground pilots. Um, 253 will no longer be used. It's going to be 134 from Magic. We're going to have a human GCI shortly.
it in. I see you taxiing. Good thing it's clear. Runway 27 in use. Flying the runway heading for 5 miles. Climb to 5,000 feet. Join Magic on 134.0 once you're near. Horse spin. Nice. 2. Hey man, how's it going? How you doing? Oh. I'm so tired. <laughs> I guess sleep is optional, right? Sleep is definitely optional, man. What sleep, you ask? I don't know. Or do we take over tower? Uh, that's completely up to you, man. You can either take a tower or you can take a different one. Um, well, you to, what, what point would you prefer? Well, I'm managing Krasno Central at the moment. I can have you. I can pass if I hear calls on makeup. I can pass if you want to run makeup yourself as well. They, I'm sure they'd appreciate that equally. Makeup. Yeah, makeup can sky is the next nearest one that's commonly used right now. That's actually the one with the working atus right now. Where is it? Uh, it's to the south. The east. Oh god. Um, hang on. I don't have them set by ICAL. Do we have a. We have magic, yep. Yeah. So what I'm thinking is, if I hear people calling on makeup, I'll start telling them to bump on a, a frequency of your choosing. If you put the announcement on Hoggett as well, then people will see that. Uh, just start trying to find the code for makeup for you. Uh, just check them out. Oh, so my one so seems to have it. Thing. Yeah, my one has it labelled yeah. rather than. Just scroll out. Scroll out further. I'm pretty much all the way zoomed out and it's still coming up as makeup. Oh. Where is it then? Just show me where it is. Uh, from Krasnazar Center, follow southeast for 55 miles. Center, southeast. Visual. You've got. Jay, you've got a guy called Trekker running it. Running around on there at the moment. JTF 501. Sorry, don't mind my dog. <laughs> well, don't go outside then. Let's <laughs> go find something to do. I don't know. Just gonna do all airports. Oh, okay. If you find makeup, then yeah. I'm on two four nine decimal six. Okay, so if I hear people calling it makeup, I'll pass them over to you. Okay. Okay, cool. Um, it's gonna take a while for that to filter through because that's not a common frequency. It's not in the briefing yeah. or nothing, so don't expect everyone to talk to you. Warbeans, are you on SRS? Huh? Sorry, I'm talking on the I'm talking on tower. Oh, okay. Stand by, I'll, I'm, I'm going to fix that for you. There, I'm back to push the talk. Oh, yeah. 
What was it? F W? Uh, G A W. Huh? Yeah, it's uh, G C I Sunrise G A W two four nine point six, and then your comments. No. Oh, the password. Yeah, okay. it's one F W. Just hog it one F W, all lowercase. Chuck one one. You're also clear of only two seven, since how nobody's talking to me. And Chuck one one um, magic call sign GCI will talk to you once you're airborne one three four point oh. Having a bad case of terrible typing itis. Oh yeah. I love that when that happens. <laughs> oh wait, why was I typing in questions? Uh, that's not going to help you. <laughs> oh, well. And uh, I don't think copy. I think copy and pasting would work. I'm not sure. Huh? I think copying and pasting would work. I'm not sure. A whole bunch of people on my channel, on my on my uh, tower that just do whatever the hell they want. They're not talking to me. It's hilarious. I had such a good time earlier as well. <laughs> Someone gave me a medal. Bye bye. <laughs> I said finally, and someone put a medal on me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Dog one one, good day. Runway two seven in use. Turn right onto golf and then left onto golf. Follow the hotel round for runway two seven. You'll be next to take off. Dog one one, copy. Oh, somebody who knows where the microphone is. Yay! <laughs> yeah, I know. I might actually jump in to game. I haven't actually connected to the server. Then go for it if you want. I'll do that. Fly if you want, but uh, just make sure you call midnight on, on this, otherwise people are going to get very confused. That's true. Henry B, are you within the sound of my voice? Dog one, one I'm going to have to ask you to hold short. I've got someone in front of me who doesn't want to talk. Dog one, one, copy. Once you see the rogue hornet uh, taken off, go ahead. You'll be clear for immediate departure as well. Grass the wall center. Yep. Okay. I'm only on for another 30 minutes or so anyway. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm about to do a barbecue anyway, as soon as people get here. My dog needs a walk at the top of the hour. At the top of the hour? Four o'clock, that's my time. 
I always, yeah, I, yeah. I tend, I tend, I tend to work in terms of times like that instead of to saying four o'clock because four o'clock can be really kind of weird for many people all around the world. Dog one one, go ahead and take off That's runway two seven. No, it's just me very conscious of time on the internet. Oh, it's a different time somewhere. Oh yeah. Dog one one, climb maintain five thousand feet. You can turn north and resume in own navigation. Yeah. You'll find magic on one thirty four. Yeah, so when the when the hands are at the top of your watch. Yeah, I try and make my customers happy. <laughs> of course. I don't think it's a Scottish thing. I think it might actually be an American thing that I've heard from so many places, but I've decided to steal it and hijack it because saying the top of the hour is much more better than saying four o'clock and then having to tell everyone to start converting times. Air traffic controller uses the word hijack. Yep. And well, just just for extra get kicks and chickles, I'm going to tell the next guy to squawk seven seven zero zero. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I just thought I triggered the fuck out you as your private pilot. Seventy five hundred. I always thought it was 77, it's going to heaven. Uh, it's an emergency. 75 of Osama drives. <laughs> That's brilliant. That's for a hijack, right? Yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah. Another news, FW my channel is... One. Say again? One FW. Yes, one FW. Thank you. I realised what you were asking for there. I was like, oh yeah, yeah, of course. Sorry, I'm feeling like the slow bus today. There's another phrase I haven't heard of. Spend long enough on the internet, you hear many phrases. This guy Henry B is like everywhere on all, all over my taxiway. I swear to God, he, he is a, he's actually trying every taxiway and the ground in, in ground before he gets to two seven. He must have the uh, he must have the uh, the off road tires fitted. <laughs> what the fucking massive ones! <laughs> Just oh, mental image of an F. <laughs> enjoy your mental image of an F eighteen with push tires. I, I need to do that. I need to do a Photoshop of that. Oh, it needs to be done. Make it so. There's no F-18 spawns at Razzle at all? Uh, there should be. Uh. Krasnodar Center or Krasnodar Peshkovsky? There's no F-18 slots at... Oh, there's no slots. Damn it. No, not... Like, not that aren't available. Like, there are physically no... Oh, that's interesting, because I've had F-18s taken off out of here. There's F-16s. Hold on, then. What have I got here? Hold on, there's a scroll. One's yeah, there's, I was going to say, there is a scroll wheel, because I've got two F-18s in the ramp on the, <laughs> uh, on the east side of Krasno Sea. And I've seen them on the west and east ramp, too. Oh, just take one from Pushkovsky and ferry over. Yeah, I've got Pushkovsky. Yeah. Pushkovsky is like 15 miles to my east. It's not going to be a long trip for you. Oh, someone just got out. There oh, you I go. Back one one. Good thing. Turn right and join Charlie for runway two seven. Turn right, Charlie. I'm keep scrolling to see if there's any more. Baker 6-5 in the F-16 on the west ramp. I see you taxiing. I assume you want runway 27. Taxiing to runway 27, Baker 6-5. Wise choice, it's the active, so 
Follow Delta all the way to the all the way until you hit Charlie. And that'll be a left turn for Charlie. Delta to Charlie. got two customers now. And Pectus in the F-18 as well, I see you moving as well. Just caution, there's an F-18 in front of you, I'll need you to give way. D-Bag 1-1, one, one, watch to your right, there's an uncommunicate of F-18 about to pop out. Yeah, I see him. Oh shit, the rain's terrible. Yeah, I've been I've been getting people to climb to five thousand feet for uh, departure. Because apparently the basis is thirty one. Climb for departure. Yes, like on departure, oh. climb to five thousand feet. After. Yes, well after departure, fine. You know what I mean. Fortunately, so do they. Back one one, turn left, join runway two seven for immediate departure. Climb and maintain five thousand feet. Fly runway heading for five miles, and then depart my frequency. Join magic on one thirty four. He's gonna is he leaving behind a whole bunch on the carpet? Have a hairy dog. Have you got the uh the map for me? The chart. The chart? Uh, uh, I was going to say, you have one in the kneeboard, buddy. I've never used the kneeboard. Right shift key, and then use your right, then you right shift and use your square bracket Press to what? change the pages. That's what? Right shift and K for kilo. And that'll bring it up, and then right shift and then the square brackets, you know the ones in the, right next to P for Papa on the keyboard, and that'll allow you to switch pages. Come through until you find right Presno P. Right shift and K. Hey P, doing some uh, air traffic control on the DC yeah, server. Yeah, how do I change pages? Square, uh, the square brackets. Thank you, Audrey. Or braces, you know, whatever one you want to prefer, prefer, refer to it for. Parentheses. Oh no, not number, not number nine and zero, the square brackets. Baker 65, join runway 27, clear for immediate departure, 5,000 feet. Joining runway 27, Baker 65. And pick this, if you're within the sound of my voice, you can join on behind the, uh, behind Baker. Pretty much, Pick. Figured I'd need some radio practice. These are all real pilots, by the way. None of these are AI. Are AI. <laughs> yes, well, you're looking at 16 to newest signaler, so I'm definitely needing radio practice. Uh, it's a game, it's an application called Lot ATC mixed with another application called SRS, and I'm on a pop on a multiplayer server yeah, for uh, DCSS. Yes. And uh, all of everything you're you're seeing in front of you is free and does not use DCSS at all. You don't even need to own DCS to use any of this. And the requirement is that the server that own the server either you own a license yourself or the server provides a license for Lot ATC. 
well, sorry, the licenses cost 25 euros. I haven't bought it, Hog it has, so I get to use theirs. Baker 65, you can join Magic on 134 actually. How busy does it get, Peak Peaks? Um, it depends. Key times of the day are obviously weekends. Um, afternoon on a Monday, not so busy. Um, server supports up to 60, 60 pilots. Um, I'll frequently have 30 spread across the whole map and I'll focus on one. I usually focus on whatever airport is running busiest. That is, I have had up to 22 pilots all needing service at the same time. That's fun. Max 1-1, good day. Go for packs one one. Packs one one on the ramp, uh, gate fourteen. Uh, just looking for a taxi to the runway, the active. Uh, information and taxi would be also great. I'm uh, looking for a cat mission. It's going to be runway two seven in use. Winds one six zero with ten knots. Q and H three zero point one. Right turn Delta all the way down to Charlie and then join runway 27 from there. Thanks, Black XP. And be aware of the uh, gentleman to your left here, Henry B. I have no comms with, so uh, I hope he keeps out your way. Well, before that, he had he needed his off-road tires because he was here, there, and everywhere across the taxiways, the runways, and the grass as well. Shit, I went past Charlie. Personal center, thanks for one. Pax one one, you can turn left onto Charlie and join runway two seven there. Uh, that's Echo. Actually, not according to my charts. Oh, on the in-game thing for Crassum's all center. 
It's uh, Echo. Charlie's the one up past the diagonal. Oh wow, that's fun. This explains so much. Because uh, if I look at these charts here, and then if I look at lot ATC, that, are, that is totally different information. I'll let um, the developer know. Can you yes. send me a screenshot of what you've got? I think the source material is different, that's the problem. Pax 1 1 cleared for takeoff runway 27. Climb and maintain 5,000 feet. Resume all navigation after 5 miles. And join Magic on 134.0. Magic, I maintain 5,000 feet prior to take, uh, post takeoff. Uh, maintain runway heading for 0, 05 miles and then contact Magic on 134. So Rob, so Rob, that's the uh, that's the that's the chart that is referred to inside lot ATC, and it actually matches the diagrams as per uh, the screen, which you can see on my live stream if you're watching it. So either nobody's using that, or something's wrong. I don't know. Does Krasnodor have a TACAN? Nope. Roger, I'm gonna have fun landing back. With no ILS or TACAN. Yeah, Very it's nice. RSBN and PMDG or PR, PRMG, you know, the, the Russian equivalent. Which doesn't have frequencies that work for Western jets. So I can give you a, I can yeah. attempt a, I can attempt a GCA. <laughs> I've never done one before. Yeah. You just need to back to me in. Yeah, where, where, where are you? I mean, I can do one if you want me to. <laughs> you can. It's up to you. I don't even know where the uh, the thing is. Crescent Center, Mad Dog, in from the east, 24 miles out. Fuel is a little low at 1.2. Stand by. Mad Dog, copy your fuel state. You'll be cleared for immediate entry, runway 22. Alternative, you have Pishkovsky to your left, bearing 255 if you need it. Happy hunting, Pax. Mad Dog, uh, you're almost on approach there. It's going to be uh, you can line up in the neck. You can line up uh, about now. Uh, sorry, repeat last. Uh, Mad Dog cleared immediate entry runway two seven. You can uh, you can line up now if you want. Oh, you're landing for Pushkovsky? Never mind.
Ninja Pilots Krasner Center Tower will close in 10 minutes. Pax 1-1, go. Pax 1-1, inbound, I'm going to pick up some 9 x-rays, uh, just request landing. Pax 1-1, one, one, runway 27 in use, vectors for runway 22. Turn right heading 090, expect a 5 mile intercept. Yeah, I'm gonna. Pax 1 1, Crescent Center, continue. Uh, I'm going to set you up with a five mile approach. Oh, Rob. <laughs> Rob, I just lost a lot of ATC. Hang on a sec. One descend 2500 feet. Expect a left turn for heading 060. Descend 2500, 
It's alright, I'm gonna land this guy and then I'm done. Uh, Pax 1 1 left turn, heading 045. Pax 1-1, one, one, continue that left turn all the way through to runway 27. Pax 1 1 Chrysler Center, 5 mile final, you're at 2000 feet. QNH 3010, descend and uh, make your landing. Pax 1 1 wins 160 over 10 knots. Wow, I can really feel that crosswind. Wow. <laughs> You're getting tumbled around, aren't you? You're a little high, by the way, just so you know. Two miles, one thousand feet. Oh, eight hundred feet now. There you go. Can you see the um, the slanting of my aircraft on the ATC? I can see your glide slope here at four point one degrees for us when you're supposed to be on three oh, degrees. Right. Can you see the way my aircraft is? Because I'm like I can, I can see the crab. Forty-five degrees off of. You've you got the field in sight? There you go. Nice slow down. You're not going to slow down in time. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, there's a truck. Oh! oh no. I hit a truck. <laughs> oh wow. Should have told you to go around. I think that's a good place to stop, actually. I'm gonna, that's top of the hour for me now. Fantastic, Rob. End of my live stream with a bang. What I can't I can't see fairer than that, can I? Just like the end of World War Two. Great stuff. Sorry, was that too touchy? No, no, not at all. Because our central uh, tower is now closed.
Thanks for the work, guys. There's no such thing as too touchy. No, no, no. I say, if you take offense to it, you really need to get your shit together. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Alright, I'm logged off. And I'm okay. gonna.